glory be to Jesus Christ, glory forever. Uh, we are gathering, uh, we just finished a memorial service. We have a number of uh, members of our parish and greater community already coming up to 40 days of repose. So we celebrated a memorial service just a little bit ago and we'll continue now with Great Vespers uh, this weekend. Again, in addition to celebrating the resurrection, uh, we'll be commemorating the new martyrs of Russia and also uh, it is the Sanctity of Life Sunday. And so we'll be taking special prayers during the liturgy tomorrow morning in commemoration of the Sanctity of Life and the March for Life that occurs usually uh, at this time of year. So glad that you have joined us. Uh, we're very grateful to the uh, Crosby family uh, who are uh, going to be singing the responses for our Vespers tonight. Uh, I do want to share a, a good word and, and some gratitude to all of you. Uh, Matryoshka Cindy has been going through preparations for follow-up testing from her thyroid cancer. Um, so she's been fasting and then she had to get another radioactive pill earlier this week. But with all of that, the news is very positive. She is cancer free. And so though she's uh, depleted from the uh, radiation effects and all, and just going through all of this, um, she's uh, in good shape in terms of uh, being cancer free. So we thank you for your uh, continuing prayers for her. Uh, we will also though be adding Matush Kamara to our prayer list who now is suffering from a case of the shingles. So we have uh, lots of struggles here, uh, but we will continue uh, in the celebration of the services. So thank you for joining us in prayer. God cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. God cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. God cleanse me a sinner, have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. You cover yourself with light as with a garment. Who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills, they give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man. 
oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea great and wide, which teem with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they're filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. <clears throat> when you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the pure cause, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan chief, our law companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy of the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the people dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonal weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance of all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious, many tailed hope, us, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Lord, Lord, to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, glory to you. Again, we get in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Now, let us say the set mercy and us and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Our memory is our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all their life unto Christ our God. In the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the eighth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Bring my soul out of prison that I may give thanks to your name. We offer to you, O Christ, our evening song and reasonable service. For you will to have mercy on us by your resurrection. The righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. Lord, Lord, do not cast us away from your face, for you will do have mercy on us by your resurrection. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Rejoice, O holy Zion, mother of the church is the abode of God. For you were the first to receive remission of sins by the resurrection. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. The word of God the Father, begotten before the ages, in the latter times will to be incarnate of the Virgin, and in your crucifixion unto death, he has saved mortal man by his resurrection. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you. <laughs> Rejoice, new martyrs and confessors of Russia, the adornment of the Orthodox. Lambs of the new slaughter, fellow warriors and guardians of the faith, blameless intercessors for us with God in the latter years, who in your sufferings appear as emulators of the first martyrs, O unshakable fillers of patient endurance, and treat God that our souls be granted great mercy. 
mercy. For your name's sake, I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice O glorious passion bearers. Following in the steps of the martyrs of old, you contended firmly for the sake of the faith. In the cruel and grievous times of your land, and now you rouse all to glory and praise God, who strengthened your weaknesses and has enriched you with gifts of the Spirit. Ever pray for the salvation of our souls. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. O heavenly protectors, come to us who await the visitation of your prayer and deliver us from danger caused by the madness of unbelievers for which we are often pursued like prisoners and outcasts moving from place to place and wandering in caves and mountains have compassion o all praised martyrs and confessors and grant us relief pacify the storm and extinguish the hostility towards us praying to god through who through you grants to our land great mercy. <clears throat> For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Mm -hmm. O oh, long suffering arch pastor, Father Ticon. In a time of terrible, godless persecutions, comforting the true children of the Church of Russia, with courage you stood up for Christ and in the Orthodox faith, and dying day by day for the sake of your pastoral service. You were revealed as a steadfast confessor, for this we lovingly glorify you. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. O true shepherd, Hara, martyr, Vladimir, when lawless men compel you to depart from overseeing the church of Russia, you remained faithful indeed and were to hierarch Tikhon, like a holy sacrifice from Kiev, the mother of Russian cities. You offered yourself to God, praying for those who were slaying you. For this we willingly glorify you. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. <clears throat> o Hieromartyr Benjamin, as a true son of Christ's church, and having heartfelt zeal for her welfare, you bravely took your stand against the false shepherds who were striving to steal your flock. But not fearing the threats and false testimony of those who questioned you, you turned the judgment back upon the head of those who tested you. And then by your death you strengthened orthodoxy. For this we willingly glorify you. In the fifth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. O Most High Master, glorified and worshipped in Trinity, take pity on us by the acceptable prayers of your new martyrs, who in the presence of tyrants boldly confessed you the one God, and your ineffable saving incarnation, from a virgin mother, O Son of God. In the eighth tone, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Mm -hmm. 
The King of Heaven, because of his love for men, appeared on earth and dwelt with men. He took flesh from the pure virgin, and after assuming it, he came forth from her. The Son is one in two natures, yet one person, proclaiming him as perfect God and perfect man. We confess Christ our God, and treat him, O unwedded mother, to have mercy on our souls. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For meet it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, O the world glorifies you. Let us attend peace be unto all. Wisdom, the evening, Prokemenon is in the sixth tone. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. His throne is established from of old, he is from everlasting. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord has lifted up. O oh Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods have lifted up their roaring. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Why hear the thunder of many waters? Why hear the waves of the sea? The Lord on high is mighty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Are very sure, holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Wisdom. The reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, the rulers, elders, and scribes, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you healed the man that was lame? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, O princes of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for a good deed done to the lame man, by what means he has been made whole, let it be known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Now when they, 
I saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and simple men, they marveled, and they realized that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For indeed, that a notable miracle has been done through them is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that it spreads no further among the people, let us severely threaten them, that from now on they speak to no man in his name, in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than unto God you judge, for we cannot but speak the things which have been seen and heard, which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way of punishing them because of the people, since they all glorified God for that which was done. For the man was over 40 years old in whom this miracle of healing was shown. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, O Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David have said, Why do the nations rage and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For truly against your holy child Jesus, whom you have anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together to do whatever your hand and your counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threats, and grant unto your servants that which all boldness may speak your word, by stretching forth your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of your holy child, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke with boldness the word of God. Wisdom, the reading is from the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to Timothy. Let us be attentive. My son, Timothy, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready at any time and in every season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers and they shall turn away their ears from away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But be vigilant in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith, Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to unto all them that have loved his appearing wisdom. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, by faith the saints subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were, they were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the enemies. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. Yes, end of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawed, sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain by the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. 
And all these having obtained a good report through faith did not receive the promise. God having provided something better for us that they should not be made perfect without us. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Deacon, our Lord, companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the mitred archpriests Eugene and Daniel, the archpriests Ernesto, Joseph, and James, the servants of God Richard, Marianne, Pontalaman, Luke, Judith, Catherine, Anna, and a friend, and who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, help, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, those who are sick and suffering, especially for the servants of God, the minded archpriest Michael, the priest Stephen, Anne, and Aaron, in their grief, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, Delphi, Cynthia Elizabeth, and Mara, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Roseanne, Elaine, Maria, Joseph, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, and John, for those suffering from the coronavirus, Lynn, Shirley, Laura, and family, Mitchell and Linda, Thomas and Marcia, Byron, Ron, Susan, and Deborah, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing. And for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, you are merciful, God, who loves mankind. And to you we send a glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper, defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. 
Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever and despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise. To you belongs glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us open by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. And the Lord. Lord. To let peace of faithful God and guard in our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. And the Lord. Lord. Of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. 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 for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. 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 remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. 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 Our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To the Lord, to God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To the Lord. 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 God above the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind. Look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, had your servants bow their heads and submissively inclined their heads. Away from that help for them that ask for your mercy, looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from main thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Descending from heaven to ascend the cross, the eternal life has come for death to raise those who are fallen, to enlighten those in darkness. O Jesus, our Savior and Illuminator, glory to you. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. We glorify Christ who rose from the dead. He accepted the human body and soul, and freed both from suffering. His most pure soul descended to hell, which he spoiled. His holy body did not see corruption in the tomb. He is the Redeemer of our souls. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. In psalms and songs we glorify your resurrection from the dead, O Christ. By it you have freed us from the tortures of hell. And as God have granted eternal life and great mercy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. O Master of all incomprehensible, creator of heaven and earth, 
By your suffering on the cross, you have gained passionlessness for me, accepting burial and arising in glory. You resurrected Adam with yourself by your almighty hand. Glory to your rising on the third day. By it you have granted us eternal life and cleansing of sins as the only compassionate one. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Nohas of Ephrata, splendid and elect region, O Holy Russia, guard the orthodox faith in which is your confirmation and support, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O marvelous wonder, the Queen of heaven and earth, who has been entreated by the saints of our land, has until now sheltered the Russian land, tenderly enriching the choir of its people. O mighty and sovereign lady, Cease not to pray for confirmation of the Orthodox faith in roofs and to pour out wonders forever. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people. Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. You descended from on high, O oh merciful one. You accepted the three-day burial to free us from our sufferings. O oh Lord, our life and resurrection, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today the Church of Russia forms a chorus in joy, praising their new martyrs and confessors. Hierarchs and priests, royal passion bearers, right believing princes and princesses, venerable men and women and all Orthodox Christians, having laid down their life for faith in Christ during the days of godless persecution. They preserve the truth by the shedding of blood. By their protection, O long suffering Lord, preserve our land in orthodoxy till the end of the age. 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mystery of all eternity, unknown even by angels. Through you, Theotokos is revealed to those on earth, God incarnate by union without confusion. He voluntarily accepted the cross for us, by which he resurrected the first created man, saving our souls from death. Mr. Father bless. Christ the God, the existing is blessed always, now we're there, but in two ages of ancient. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, Unto ages of ages. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos we magnify you. Christ, our Father, our sure hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. Rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of our holy glorious and laudable apostles, of the synaxis of the holy new martyrs and confessors of Russia, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy in us and save us, for he is good and loves when God. Amen. Thank you, Heidi Thomas, for singing the responses for our Vespers tonight. We look forward to gathering at church tomorrow morning for the Divine Liturgy, uh, again, commemorating the New Martyrs of Russia and the Sanctity of Life Sunday that is celebrated across our Orthodox Church in America on this Sunday. Uh, I want to uh, share a bit of good news. I'll share this tomorrow morning, too, but I just learned and uh, having reached out to Father John and Matushka Brenda just to check in and see how they're doing. Uh, they will be back in town uh, coming this next week and will begin a period of quarantine uh, as they uh, return again. But they uh, asked to share their love with everyone here and uh, we look forward to seeing them uh, when they return, even though it sounds like Father John may continue his service in the uh, Carpathian Russian parish where he had been serving, but um, we uh, please keep them in your prayers as they will be traveling uh, during this next week, uh, returning back here once again to Connecticut. God bless and be with you, and we'll look forward to celebrating the liturgy tomorrow. <coughs>